let's jump in there. We're going to be through in just a few minutes and we can go back to work in the shop. Uh, special Topics 2 Test 11. Um, the auxiliary 12 volt battery on a hybrid vehicle does all of the following except. Except what? Anybody know? Temporary power. <sighs> let's see. This is test 11. Stores electrical energy for lighting use. That's all the battery is, is an electrical storage device. Yeah, what else What else can you think of that's an electrical storage device? The capacitor. Yeah, and how long does it, how long does the charge in a capacitor last? 30 years. <laughs> no, whenever you charge it up, it discharges instantly, you know. All right, let me get in here. i got to make sure I'm in the right place. Um, all right. It doesn't act as a voltage stabilizer, does it? What do you think? Anybody thinking about that? Has anybody been reading the book on that? Can somebody look it up in their book? Powers the starter motor to crank the engine. Then that particular one is actually, you know, that's it, the only one that does that. If it's got a 12 volt starter, you know, uh, on the little Hondas, they got there about this is not talking about Hondas. Uh, so that is basically A, it powers, a, it does all of the other though, it provides the voltage stabilizer. The vent located at the lift, left rear of the vehicle, and this is like Ford Escape, does what? Cools the high voltage battery pack. Cools the high voltage battery pack. All right. The Ford Escape and Mercury Mariner hybrid gasoline engines use the Atkinson cycle. What does that mean? Delays the closing of the intake valves. Yeah, and so what basically you got the, the cylinder coming part way up with the intake valve open, which is a peculiar thing. And it's basically got a different, why do you do that? It's got a different power curve, doesn't it? It's also easier to start the darn thing. You know? What is, uh, you know these Honda engines? have got, if you ever turn, you know, you think you know a pretty good bit about engines until you start watching one of these little Honda small engines. And when you spin the thing through, you'll see the uh, intake valve open. You'll see, and, and well, you see the exhaust valve open and close, the intake valve open and close. And then when, during, halfway during the time when the intake valve ought to be closed, it bumps open again, just briefly. And, and uh, Briggs and Stratton's are doing that now. And what it does, it makes it start easier. It's really interesting that they do that. I discovered that by accident. Um, let me see. Uh, and there may be other reasons they do it too. I don't know. Uh, Ford Mercury hybrid transaxles contain what? Uh, a, gener a 45 kilowatt AC generator, 70 kilowatt AC traction motor, uh, planetary gears and final drive gears, all of the above. The Ford and Mercury hybrid, all, all the above all the above's answer. Ford and uh, Mercury hybrids are what type of hybrid? Series, no. They're a full, strong hybrid. Um, what type of batteries used in a high voltage system? This is on the Mercury and Ford, you know. The, no, 250 D-size batteries. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not. Can I get 250 batteries, please? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the DC to DC converter is located where and is cooled by what? It's located under the hood and it has a liquid cooling system all its own. Uh, the Ford Mercury hybrid use all the following except the 12 volt starter. That's not the only one to use that's a Honda. Uh, Ford Mercury specify that the uh, following precautions are observed when working on the high voltage system. Create a buffer zone around the vehicle using cones. Believe it or not, in the original book, they said use purple cones. Well, we're in a Sam Hill, you're going to get purple cones, right? <laughs> uh, wear a face shield. Wear the lineman's gloves with leather gloves over them. And also, one thing they didn't mention here, you're supposed to use the technician disconnect tool. And that is a big plastic hook. Somebody's supposed to be standing close by. If the thing gets a hold of you, they're supposed to grab you with a plastic hook and pull it off. I prefer to smack one of yeah, yeah, that probably worked pretty well. One time when my brother was turning on the faucet at that old house we lived in on the dirt road over there, the poorly grounded water heater started lighting him up, and my grandmother had to knock him off of it. <laughs> what, what precautions are needed before servicing the disc brakes on a Ford Mercury hybrid vehicle? Um, 
Disable high voltage system. Yeah. Disconnect two fuses. What? Yep. Basically, you don't want it operating the brake calipers when you got the thing took apart. You know, which it can do that. Technician, they says the Escape Mariner hybrid electric vehicle offers a 230 volt AC electrical outlet for convenience. Technician <laughs> B says the uh, nickel metal hydride battery for the Escape Mariner is a 330 volt design. B. B. Now, some of your Chevy pickups have got uh, outlets built in. A 220 volt though? No, they're, they're 220s. Yeah, but they got one built in there. My car's got a little inverter in it that I use to, you know, I can plug a laptop charger into. Uh, which of the following is true of the internal combustion engine on a Ford Mercury SUV uh, hybrid electric vehicle? A, it's an aluminum dual overhead cam four cylinder engine. B, it uses an active engine mount. C, it uses an Atkinson cycle. Or D, all of these are correct. All of them. You'd be engine engine. active. Oh, you'd be surprised, man. There's uh, these electric engine mounts that they have on some of these things. Some of these Hyundai's have got them, all that kind of thing. And basically, it's, it's for noise, vibration, and harshness purposes. There's times whenever you need, you know, the mounts to be stiffer than others. <laughs> it's a it's a crazy thing. You need to then, did, uh, Google that sometime. I've active engine that. mount, huh? I've seen that on that BMW. We had to do the uh, clutch in. Birthday. You're really into all these European cars now, aren't you? No, no I'm not. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> the money's there, though, There's right? The money's there. Yeah. How many planetary gear sets are incorporated into the Ford Mercury SUV hybrid automatic transaxle? Two. One. Seven. Only one. Uh, it's like when I was building my house, I told the guy, I don't want to run out of hot water. How big of a water heater do I need? He goes, how many bathrooms are you going to have? I said, seven. <laughs> he was shocked, but I didn't have seven bathrooms. I only had two. All right, let's see. Let's go up here to... 15? Huh? Did we skip 13? We did. If we didn't, we should have. That's all I got to say. Technician A says an electric pump assists in delivering warm engine coolant to the passenger compartment when passenger heating is needed, but the internal combustion engine is in idle stop mode. Technician B says such auxiliary electrical devices are powered by the 12-volt system. Okay. Both technicians. Now, some of the Toyota stuff have got... Uh, they've got 12-volt AC current electric pumps on them. So, like I say, if you ever pull one of them off, you just want to power and ground to them, you may find out that you can't even make them run that way, even if they're good. Um, let's see, there's 15 is one we're on now. Technician A says there's six modes of transaxle operation in the Escape Mariner hybrid electric vehicle. Technician B says this vehicle's electronic continuous variable transmission operates in two modes. Neither one of those guys are right. Mark that wrong, slap yourself, Melissa. All right. What is happening in the positive split transaxle drive mode? What? The positive split transaxle drive mode. Remember what I told you? The internal combustion engine, when it's running, is always running in the same direction. But in some of the gears, the electric motors have got to run backwards. You yeah, know, it's, it, huh? it's going to be uh, C. Uh, power from the ice is being used to charge a battery. Power from the ice is being used to propel a vehicle. Uh, what are the tasks of the generator motor? Restarting the ice after shutdown, generating electric current, control the drive ratio, and the transaxle planetary gear set. When does it generate electric current? When you're slowing down. When you're stopping, hitting the brakes, it generates electric current. What cools the DC to DC converter on an escape hybrid? Transaxle. Transaxle cooling system. Very good. Next time you're supposed to slap yourself, you don't have to. Technician A says the battery zone air filter must be replaced regularly to prevent overheating of the high voltage battery unit. Technician B says the Ford Mercury SUV hybrid electric vehicles have front and rear inertia switches. Who's right about that? Both. Both of those guys are right. The inertia switch on these hybrid vehicles is tied into the hybrid system. And you know what? They were, we were doing this hybrid, these first responder stuff. These first responders go out there, uh, not just for hybrid vehicles, but for airbags. You'd be surprised if these first responder guys aren't really careful and they don't cut the battery cables and cut them in another place so that they don't aren't touching, then you can actually, when you're doing Jaws of Life stuff, you can light off an airbag that didn't light off before and just, boom, just blow all up in your face and everything. There's videos of that kind of thing happening. The first responder people got to know how to disable that stuff. And there's actually classes that are done for first responders for hybrid and, you know, vehicles and airbags. Yeah, Mitchell just got through doing one two weeks ago. Yep. Uh, let's see. Um, 
What the purpose of the fiberglass hook kept in Ford dealerships? <laughs> um, I believe it's a measuring tool used to gauge the safe distance. <laughs> It's the technician disconnect tool. A safety device used to rescue a technician is being electrocuted. This doesn't happen. Ford was worried about it, though. Uh, what term is used to describe a uh, completely insulated ground circuit in the high voltage system? What did I tell you about this? Ground yeah, you, it's, it's a floating ground. Basically, you don't have a ground that is connected. The, hybrid, the high voltage system is not grounded to the vehicle chassis anywhere. It's a totally isolated electrical system that's not grounded to the vehicle chassis uh, because they don't want that because they don't want to have anything to go wrong and you know you get fired up. How many of you have been bit by just static electricity? Getting into the car, getting out. Do you love that? No. Does it light you up good? I, I had a car that would do that every single time I yeah. got out of the vehicle. You know how you fix that? Uh, you, uh, what I would end up doing is putting my leg against the body, yeah. and it would zap that first. There was. <laughs> <laughs> what you can do is get some of that stuff you spray, that static spray, like for clothes. If you spray the seats with that, you don't have an issue. But here's something else. This guy, it was in the summertime. It wasn't even a cold. The guy comes in in a Mustang, and he said, anytime me and my wife gets out of this car, it shocks us. And he got out, pop, you heard it shock him, you know. And I said, well, that's bad. And so I said, let me get out. And I got out, and it wouldn't shock me. I said, well, I'll tell you what. I said, um, you get out, and I'll hold on to the door, and you touch me. He goes, okay. So he got out, and he held on the door, and he touched me. And it felt like I was just drilled by an ignition coil. Pow! Good grief! And, uh, you know, but basically, you just about got to either, I don't know, what's going on there. Some people have got more of a propensity to, to electric, you know, shock than others. All right, let's keep going so we can get done and in a minute, sure. uh, all right, because he's coming over here anyway, isn't he? I mean, your guys, your people are coming over here, aren't they? Mm -hmm. uh, your speech bunch. Uh, are you through? I'm done. Oh, you're done with speech. Next, well, you sorry dog. Years, so. Okay, never mind then. Uh, what warning indicator? Wait a minute. Yeah, what warning indicator informs the driver of a major hybrid system malfunction, which requires shutting off the vehicle? A red triangle lighted symbol. Technician A says the Mariner Escape Hybrid Electric Vehicle can propel the electric motor only. Technician B says the Mariner Escape Hybrid Electric Vehicle can be propelled by the internal combustion engine only. Technician A. Technician A. When you crank one of those Mercury uh, Escapes or, or uh, you know, Ford Escapes or Mercury or Mariners, basically you crank it up and it dies and it's just sitting there dead. You put it in gear and you drive off like a golf cart. Makes no noise. And if you get on it really hard, it cranks the engine. Or if you got the air conditioner on max, it cranks the engine, that kind of thing. Or if it needs to charge a battery. The electric motor, traction motor in the Mariner Escape Hybrid produces the equivalent of what horsepower? 780. 93. 780 was not even a choice, so shut up. All right. How often should a battery, uh, should a valve adjustment lash be performed on the 2.3 liter ice in the Mariner and Escape Hybrid electric vehicle? None of these. You don't perform the lash. What kind of second-rate amateur would answer the question that way? Well, that yeah. Well, if it's got hydraulic lash adjusters, you don't have to do that on anything except a Chevy or a straight six Ford, you know, or whatever. Um, let's see. The modified Atkinson uh, combustion cycle in Ford Mercury electric hybrid vehicles provides what? Uh, a. None of the above. Technician A says the engines in Ford Mercury hybrid electric vehicles use camshafts with a longer lobe duration than ICEs in conventional vehicles. Technician B says that engine in Ford Mercury vehicles use camshafts with longer exhaust lobe during, uh, you know. It, actually, I should have said intake lobe duration as, as opposed to exhaust, and it's A only. Which component combines the torque delivered by the electric traction motor with the torque delivered by the internal combustion engine? Bridge. The continuous variable transmission. It, that's what puts it all together and takes it out to the wheels. Which ECVT mode is used in highway driving situations where the ice must be running and the high voltage battery pack does not need to be charged? That would be negative split mode. All right. You should have known that. All of these are true regarding the instrument panel displays used in Ford hybrid electric vehicles except what? The green gauge. All of these are true. Right. Now, uh, basically, the largest gauge in the instrument clusters attack. They alert the driver of the need for vehicle service with a wrench light, and they use a feature gauge to measure efficiency called the green gauge. Now, here's a little uh, closing story here. And uh, some of y'all, I don't know if y'all have heard me tell this or not, 
uh, my buddy Mark that was that I trained, he goes out to the write-up area, and the guy says, uh, you know, just listen to the story if you've already heard it. I don't remember if you've heard it. He says, this guy says, my radio won't turn off in my truck. It's always on all the time. He goes out there in his truck, <laughs> and he turns off the radio, and he's still hearing the radio. You know, He says, well, I don't understand what's going on here. And then when he folded the seat forward, he found out it was a boom box behind the seat on the same station. Nice. And, and the guy had leaned back and turned it on because it was on the same station. <laughs> it was a really nice sound. Well, boom if he leaned forward, it turned it off. No, when he, I don't know, but if he leaned forward, it, it clicked it on. And I, but that was, it was a boom box thing, you know. And uh, then there was this other... Lady comes in there with this really car that's really got a bad smell, and uh, the problem—you know what the problem was with that? She had a she had some lasagna under the seat. It had been there a long time. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I mean, that'd be nasty stuff, you know. So you can you can you'll have a lot of stories to tell if you work in this business for a while.